Hi traders, it's Roberto and today is February the 5th on Thursday. We have two or three uh, very good setups on the daily chart. However, the setups are going against the monthly time frame and I'll show you what I mean right now. The Euro Yen and the Pound Yen for the past two days is pretty much have been consolidating. If we look at a monthly chart, however, we see there's this nice evening star that's developing and the market is just retracing. Typically, when the market does retrace, if we take this one monthly candle and we take our Fibonacci tool and draw it from the swing high to swing low, then we should start looking for a selling opportunity at 138.75. That's the first thing I'm looking at. But if you look on a on a daily chart, what do we see? But consolidation, stochastics oversold, and it's been consolidating for the for the past two weeks. And I managed to take a trade. We had a buy signal down at these levels down here and, and exited the trade. But once this level of resistance is broken, so if a candle, the daily candle can close above that 135 area, then the market, then this should continue to go up to the next resistance level, which is here at 137.17. And then if it manages to get up to 138.67, 140.29, that should be it. It shouldn't go up any higher than that because as I mentioned before, we are going against the overall direction of the monthly chart. So this area up here, that be anywhere from 140.75 to 137.80, is a strong resistance level. And I'll start looking for candlestick patterns. Let me just make this a little small so you can see it much better in relationship to the to the other. Uh, trading day. So the market's been in a downtrend. Now on a daily chart, price is above the trigger line, which is these eight moving average line. But once it gets up to the 61%, 50% retracement level, I don't anticipate for the market to go up any higher. Let's start looking for sell orders. Right now, Stochastics is still oversold. And, and if it can break that 135 level, then we should buy and start looking to exit 137.50 to 140.92. Any, or I'm sorry, not 140.92, anywhere from 137 to 140 area. So anywhere around here, this is um, a sell zone. Okay, let's look at some other pairs. Pound yen. Let's look at a monthly chart. And again, we have this evening star in the monthly chart, but price is retracing. Stochastics is overbought and heading down on the monthly chart. But if we switch over to the daily chart, we're in an uptrend. We have, um, we have this area of support where price bounced off three times, and now it's breaking above this resistance level which was up here. And then again, I would take my Fibonacci tool and draw it from the swing high to the swing low, all the way back from December 5th to the swing low, uh, the most recent swing low, which was, yes, two days ago. And then these retracement levels, we have 38, 50, and 61%. These are levels of resistance, and I don't think the market is going to be able to break this area of resistance simply because the Monday, the uh, monthly chart is showing an evening star. Okay. So I think the other, oh, we had two other trading. We had the Euro Yen also. Let me switch over to Euro Yen. The same thing. They all look identical. On a, on a daily chart, they're all buy signals, but on a monthly chart, they're just telling us that the market is heading for a strong downtrend based on the technicals. So on the Euro Yen, let me just remove the Fibonacci tool. We see a morning star, an evening star, stochastics 
shows divergence. So we have divergence on a monthly chart. But when you have divergence on a monthly chart, that is a very lagging indicator. And price needs to go back up to a 61, 50% retracement level before it turns around and heads south. So we take our Fibonacci tool and draw it from the swing high to the swing low. And let me just change this um, color here. Well, that's going to take too long, but let me just show you the area of resistance is up here. That 139 or 140 area on the, so 142 area would be an ideal place to sell Euro Yen. It's also a resistance level from back in uh, the 1st of, of January, back here. So let me see if that's correct. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is about two weeks ago or two months ago. No, I'm looking at a monthly chart. Excuse me, let me just make this bigger so I can see what this area of resistance is back all the way back then. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's almost a year. There's a resistance level up here. So that 142 level, 142.30 stakes, start looking for um, the market to stall out at these levels. But right now it's retracing. On a monthly chart, we have divergence. The Cassix is heading down. But on the daily chart, we're in an uptrend. Okay, so this can be confusing. If you're not looking at all time frames, then it, you can easily make a mistake. We're in an uptrend on a daily chart, but once it gets up to these levels up here, then start looking to exit your trade and reverse positions around or up, up here, 142. Anywhere from 139 to 142 would be a great place to start shorting Euro Yen. So we have one, two. The last one is Aussie Yen. Same thing. We have sent out the signal to buy on Monday, and it's been struggling for the past three days. It, we do have this nice reversal candle, and market is starting to go up. Stochastics is oversold. But if you look on a monthly chart, we have an evening star, and price is below the swing point. So we're in a downtrend on a monthly chart, and Stochastics is heading south. So we don't exactly have confluence of indicators between the monthly and the daily chart. Once the daily chart starts heading south and breaks below this support level on Aussie dollar, Aussie yen rather, then yes, then we're clearly in a downtrend on all time frames. So that's it for this tutorial. I don't have a signal other than there's a buy on pound yen and right now there there is there's no signal on euro yen. I mean that position if you had bought euro yen this was the place to exit the trade because it's hitting a strong resistance and also Aussie yen if you had taken that trade uh, to buy um, it hasn't hit its target yet but um, it should reach at least this level of resistance up at 92.40 by tomorrow Again, if you have any questions, just contact me, and I'll be able, happy to help you. Have a good trading what's day, what's left of the week, which is tomorrow. And thanks for watching the video.